Okay, what we're going to do now is to look at how we can figure our mail to include our CathEd Net account as well as if we want to include, for example, a Gmail or a Big Pond or anything else like that. As you can see, I have a horrendous amount of emails, I know. But what we're going to look at is how we actually create our own mail accounts. So rather than going in through webmail, we're actually going to create it in our settings. So you need to go to your settings. And with your settings, what you will find is that you will have a mail contacts and calendars. With mail contacts and calendars, you can see that I have a number of calendars and emails that have been set up. So in order to set up your CathEdNet one, you just go to add account. Your CathEdNet is a Microsoft Exchange one. And so you add in your Microsoft Exchange. Now I've also included a document which gives you all of these details. So you include your surname, dot first name, and then it's at cathednet.wa.edu.au. You need to put in your password that you have used. Now this may not take me to the next part, so I will go next. It's going to ask me now for the server, and this is the only part that's a little bit different from other things. And what you need to put in with your server is webmail.cathednet.wa.edu.au and then your domain, I tend to just put cathednet and your username, your username is usually your surname.firstname because that's just what you have, alright. Description, it says exchange but you could put in cathednet Alright, you could also put in school or anything else that you want. Now you then go up to next and it goes through a verification process. Now it's unable to verify my account information because I actually don't have a CathEdNet account anymore. So it will go through with yours and it will go through your full verification and at that point what you will have listed in your mail contacts and calendars is you will have whatever you called it will be listed along here. Now, if you wish to add in another, another account, you go through the exact same process and you might add in a Gmail account, put in all of those and so on. 